Good morning, folks. We're starting with a couple animations from NASA. It's Goddard's Scientific Visualization Studio. I've just got some snippets, but I recommend heading to their site to see their full suite leading up to the lunar eclipse three days away. Earth will pass directly between sun and moon and be visible for most of the western world and the very far east three days away. They've also released a terrific stratospheric intrusion animation. This is when conditions allow for a descent of ozone. You can actually monitor ground ozone levels day to day via numerous tools, but stratospheric intrusions are considered more major events. This one from 2012. Back to present day. The cyclone has weakened. It weakened a lot before ever hitting the coastlines, but heavy rains and wind did cause some roofs to disappear and other minor damage. There was about a seven foot storm surge and we may continue to see flooding along the coastline for the next day or so. We've got two systems to the north towards which we'll now turn our tropical focus. East coast of South America, watch that convergence line. Could be major flooding there today. In Europe, we see a consolidation and strengthening of the North Atlantic lows. Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and for some precipitation underneath the east convergence. Severe storm chances in that north flow tonight on a line from Kansas to Chicago. Eyes on that and finally note the sister storm systems in the North Pacific. Perhaps the next group of shaking will be there. Thus far, our expected shaking uptick has seen far more than we could ever have expected in the east and the west. Continued yesterday with a couple six-pointers and a volcano eruption at Peru, Ubinas. For anyone looking for an opinion on how close you need to be for a good volcano video, that's probably a bit too far away and this is way too close. Back back son, give him 50 feet. Anyway, far further above our heads are magnetic shields and a bit of disarray. Without any interplanetary shocks, the solar wind electromagnetics tip south, and that's like our shield, just having one of those days where everything goes wrong and you've got a migraine. Even without the shocks, south-pointing interplanetary magnetic fields leave Earth vulnerable to solar wind, and we've currently got a geomagnetic storm. The sun is again becoming peppered with spots. We start slow from the incoming limb where our mature spots appear separated magnetically. They've also been quiet. All the flaring and eruptions have come from her. It would strain credulity to think there weren't Delta class magnetics involved down there. And as for more earthquakes, we're in significant aftershock territory in Central and South America and across near the Solomon Islands. Other than that, the factors suggest a slowdown over the next few days. Last note, folks, almost everyone who got a name slot on the mobile observatory has returned the email asking what name they want on the RV. If you pledged and got a reward, the email you used to do Kickstarter will have the message about five more days until we need to make the deadline so as to not delay the shop. I am so thankful to you guys and it would break my heart a little bit if you dropped the ball and I had to just use whatever name you put in Kickstarter by default. Anyway, current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.